Hey everyone, how we doing? So good to uh, join you guys. I hope you're joining us right now as we are in our 21 day fast and our prayer. And as we started this past week, we started Monday, just kind of getting together and uh, just coming together and bringing a short five to seven minute Devo and prayer time. And today is uh, day 11 for us at local church, those that started with us. Um, we are on day 11 and we just wanted to continue to, to just come online for a couple minutes just to encourage you um, For some this may be brand new. You may have never done a fast before and uh, And so you're like experiencing all the different just challenges of what it looks like to fast and deny you know yourself of things that, that we just get caught up in the habits and stuff like that and so um, as people just start jumping on, I see, you know, Arnold and Sal, uh, Miss Cheryl, what's up, P-Mike. Um, we're, we're glad to be back in town. Can't wait to see everybody. Um, but I just wanted to take a couple minutes this morning, this afternoon. Um, some of you, you're on your lunch break right now, and this is a time when some people will fast. One meal is right in the middle of the day. And so um, I just want to encourage you and just kind of share just a short little scripture and some encouragement and today our focus is going to be on just something specific that you might be um you might be needing there's something um physical spiritual you know financial emotionally that, that you just have need of right now in your life or in your family um, maybe a need for for kids or health in your your body and so i just want to read you a short passage of scripture um, that comes from matthew chapter 6 and you can read the whole chapter. The whole chapter is great for what we're doing right in the middle of this 21 day fast. And so I'm gonna read um, chapter six, starting with verse number 31. It's just a, a small clip of uh, such a great chapter. And it says, so don't worry about these things saying, uh, what will we eat? What will we drink? What will we wear? These things dominate the thoughts of unbelievers, but your heavenly father already knows all of your needs it says to seek the kingdom of god above all else and live righteously and he will give you everything that you need i love this passage of scripture because it, it speaks to every single one of us every single one of us have a need or desire maybe you're without a job and and you need you need employment uh, maybe finances have hit you you're a small business owner and um, with everything going on with COVID that your finances are struggling right now. And so you have need. You have need that God would bring customers and clientele and, you know, maybe you're a single mom and, and it's been really rough trying to balance just kids and life and finances and providing for your family during a time like this. And so this passage of scripture, it speaks to every single one of us because there is something if we really stop and just said, what is it? What is it that... And I just, I need God to, to perform a miracle in my life, in my family, in my finances, in my health. And, and I just want to share just something real quick, just, a, just as, as an encouragement. Um, I mean, we've, we've seen miracle after miracle after miracle in our family. I've seen, I've seen an aunt, an aunt that was in a coma for weeks upon weeks. And... I remember going by her bedside and in that time taking days where I would just, I would fast and pray because our family, we needed a miracle. We needed to see a healing happen in her life. And I would show up by her bedside. She was in a coma. I would just have worship music playing and I would just read scripture over her. Um, I would fast my lunch and I would go up there and I would just pray, intensely praying. And uh, what I love about this prayer is it doesn't say just tell God you have needs. Um, he gives us steps to take and, and it's so easy it's so easy for all of us to just get on our knees and say God I need a new car I need a new job I would like a wife you know those kinds of things and we just kind of throw up these prayers and think, think you know God you're the genie that we're just gonna rub and what I love about the scripture is it tells us exactly what we need to do it, it doesn't say just present your your needs to God but it says seek the kingdom of God above all else that means when you have a need, there's nothing more important. There's no priority higher than seeking the kingdom of God. And then when you've done that, then it says live righteously. 
For us believers that we have asked God to be our Lord and Savior, He has made us right. We are in right standing with God when we ask Jesus to be our Lord and Savior. But it's more than just saying that prayer, it's living it out. And so Matthew 6 tells us that after you've seeked God and, and you've put Him above all else, now you've got to live righteously. And so you got to start living right. You got to start doing the right things. You got to start praying. You got to seek the Word of God. And then after that, it says, He will give you everything that you have need of. Everything that you have need of. And that's what's amazing is our God has all of the resources that you and I will ever need. All of the resources that you and I will ever need if we would seek after the kingdom of God, if we would live righteously. He will give you the desires of your heart. He will give you everything that you have need of. And I think that's amazing to know that we serve a God that he knows already before we even ask what that need is. And he's ready to supply it to us. And so I just, like I said, just wanted to come on. It's so good to see everybody jumping on, whether you're watching this right now, whether you jump on later on and watch it. Um, we're going to repost these on Instagram. So those that, you know, don't have Facebook, they can see it as well. But I, I just want to encourage you, share these just prayer moments over the next um, several days, Monday through Friday. We're going to continue to have different people come on and just share just a, a small Devo, small prayer time as as you're in this 21 days of prayer and fasting. And, and maybe, like I said, this is your first time. This is all new. You have so many questions. I just want to encourage you, go to localchurch.tv slash 21 days. You go there, we've got a full page of just resources and questions to answers that you might have, scriptures that you can use. We've got a prayer guide that is all online that you can use as you're going through your 21 days. You, you may have, I just have no idea, how do I need to be praying? What should I be praying? Um, there's so many resources on that website, and we just want to encourage you, go take a look at it, localchurch.tv slash 21 days. Um, know that we love you, we're praying for you. Um, day 11, keep trucking. You're halfway there. It's noontime. It's 11 and a half days. You are halfway through. And uh, we just want to tell you that we love you. We can't see you for local church family this Sunday. Can't wait to see you. For everybody else, if you're joining us from out of state, uh, maybe you've never visited and you've been watching us online, we'll continue to see you online. We love you. God bless you. And uh, we will see our church fam this Sunday. Uh, join us tomorrow about the same time between 12 and 1. We'll have um, someone else come on giving a prayer and devo. Amen. We love you guys. Good, So good to see you. Be encouraged. Be blessed. Um, Pastor Isaac signing off. We'll see you.